Welcome to Textonation. Joining us is Marissa De Pasquale, the CEO and founder of Mindsets Learning. Thank you for joining us, Marissa. Thanks, Fred. I'm excited to be here. Well, we're going to talk about what you have out there for for parents and teachers, but first give us some background about the company. Yeah, so um, Mindset um, Learning um, began um, uh, in Boston in uh, 2015 uh, when we joined the Learn Launch Accelerator, which is a network of um, educational technology um, uh, teams and um, universities and institutions um, that, that support young young founders and young companies. Um, and as you can tell by my accent, um, um, I'm an Australian uh, and American. And so um, we started originally, the origins came from um, the IB School Network, the International Baccalaureate. And then in 2015, joining Learn Launch, um, we began our journey um, and our company is fully American. Our team is largely American as well. And we um, we started uh, working with math teachers, and um, our first tool uh, helps students learn how to build businesses. And we found that math teachers love the uh, the idea of students immersing in real world learning and real world experiences. They just didn't have um, a lot of time. Um, they didn't have whole semesters to devote to that type of learning. Um, you know, most teach through forty five to sixty minute class blocks. And so they asked us to adapt um, the the, uh, the tool, the platform, and to help them create um, really awesome lessons. And so so that's what we've done. We've built a full library, digital library, so teachers can browse, um, and parents too can browse the library um, and uh, find um, a real world experience that matches what they're teaching. Whether that be fractions, whether that be um, equations, um, and so this, it's a great way for students to to learn through the topics and um, you know, issues that they care about in the world around them. Well, give us some examples of, of what you mean by uh, real-world problem solving. As an example, um, uh, if you are um, learning how to negotiate job offers, um, we have a challenge called Where to Work, um, uh, where students um, pick a career and they can see their classmates' choices as well. Um, and they can they then get offers from those companies um and in the case of the where to work tech career challenge they get an offer from google and another one from amazon which company would they prefer to work for um so they analyze the job offers and they analyze the pay data of those companies um and we use real data from the, from those uh companies um and then they have to use um linear equations to um work out which company pays them more over, over four years and which one has the greatest uh, average pay rise. And so by, by that type of um, learning experience, it's one that we can all relate to, learning about how to evaluate job offers. Um, um, and it, it also not only builds their skills in uh, understanding how linear equations work, which is what teachers will be doing in the class, it also helps them see the practically the world around them and uh, helps to build their life skills. What are the age ranges this is intended for? Yeah, so um, Mindset's Learning, um, the, the library is a design for uh, middle school um, and so grades six, seven and eight, so typically 10 to 14 years of age. Um, but we have also um, parents and teachers use them for uh, students as young as, you know, um, eight and above, particularly gifted students. And for students in high school um, who struggle with math, um, it's, it's often used to help remediate because, because of that practicality um, and the way that students can really engage with the topics. With uh, most students having been home for, for several months now, uh, tell us uh, how they can take advantage of this, or what, the, what the offering is. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, uh, those schools that use mindsets um, can certainly, um, the teachers can certainly, uh, and have been assigning mindset challenges to, the, to their students to work um, over the COVID uh, closures, school closures. Um, but also now, uh, we've just released a parent package, um, and if you head on over to mindsets.com forward slash parents, um, and it enables a parent to buy a monthly membership to the Mindsets Library, 
um, uh, monthly, uh, three monthly or annual membership uh, for a low price and um, they have access to the library um, and they can um, decide which topics and themes. We've got 20 themes uh, from sports through to careers, through to startups, through to conservation, environment and so on, um, covering all the math topics that students will be learning. Um, and also um, we have uh, a summer challenges have just been released. So the open challenges enables uh, parents, students and teachers uh, access to uh, free uh, use of three months of challenges. And so we try and make it fun. Um, and the current series is the summer series. Um, and so head on over to mindsets.com and you can see those as well. Terrific. So the people can get started and, and see what this is all about for free. And what is the Absolutely. what is the subscription run for for parents who are interested? Yeah, so um, parents can start for free with the open challenges, and then um, they can uh, buy a monthly membership for thirteen dollars a month, um, or thirty nine dollars for three months, um, or one hundred and forty nine dollars a year for the full year. If they have more than one child, would like year round access. And that, and that gives uh, up to five people in a family to be able to use the, the tool. Now tell us how you've put this uh, together. You, as you mentioned, you've got uh, some, uh, some real experts helping you design all of, these, uh, all of these courses. Tell me about it. Yeah, so we work with the world's best uh, educators, um, and we have a very rigorous uh, selection and also training process. Um, and we work with uh, teachers, um, for example, those who, uh, in, you know, one of our authors is in the New York area. She's a PhD in math um, and she um, teaches by day and uh, she writes curriculum with us by night. Um, and um, we have yeah, a very passionate group of educators and it's, it's educators, but also um, uh, folks that, uh, including myself, I, I work with the team, um, not on the math side, I work on the the storytelling side um, to, to ensure that the challenges, that the math journey relates well to a real world uh, topic or theme or something that might be in the newspapers. We've just, for example, started working on an ocean series um, where students are helping to save the oceans, looking at issues like um, the great uh, Pacific garbage patch, um, uh, which is a body of water which is just polluted. Um, and so we, we do, um, we look for people who can, and authors who can uh, also engage in, in, in the sort of real world topic. So we have and select them, um, most of them are in the US, and we've now just started expanding our author base to, uh, to great authors in other countries. I don't know how you can quantify the success that you're having, but uh, what are you hearing from your, from your customers, uh, the teachers and, and parents and students? Um, yeah, it, it, often it's a visceral response. It's like, oh, and often you, you hear it's like, I wish I had this when I was at school. And when I when when we hear that, um, we know that we've struck a chord. And but the numbers, you know, we have teachers from every state in the US um, that are using the mindset challenges with their students. Um, and uh, we're really proud to announce that we have teachers uh, in 81 countries as well. Um, and it's a testament to um, the, the, the challenges that, you know, teachers, um, you know, in Hawaii, in Florida, um, in Wisconsin, in every state, uh, in California, Florida, um, Massachusetts, and also countries like Thailand, international schools like in Thailand, um, in Israel, um, in Australia. Um, uh, and so, yeah, um, we're, we're really pleased and proud that we're, we're providing this sort of service and that we can help teachers um, bring math to life, answer that question, why do I need to learn this? When will I ever use this? And also um, to uh, spark their curiosity and to help prepare for eventually, you know, uh, for, for, for their assessments. Well, tell me more about your personal motivation in doing this. Were you a teacher? Um, actually, no, I was not a teacher. Um, um, and it was, I think the universe <laughs> um, came together in one, one moment and uh, helped me see the, the potential in helping um, uh, educators. And it really began in the classroom when my daughter was at 
um, she was um, um, uh, seven years of age at the time. And I took her to school one day and I said to her, you know, Kate, what are you doing at school? And she turned to me and said, mum, we're making cupcakes and we're making profits. And I looked at her and I said, what? You're making profits? And uh, suddenly it flashed in my, you know, vision flashed to me. Like, I think I learned that word when I was in my 20s or my 30s. <laughs> um, I've never learned this word at school. And I love the, the fact that it was, um, it was so inclusive. It wasn't about greed and money. It was about cupcakes. It was about the experience. It was about being social, about being creative. And so I walked into the classroom and um, I, you know, wanted to learn more. And so that really began my journey. And it was interesting because uh, one of the early teachers which I started working with um, said to me, you're going to, you're going to do this for 10 years. And I said, to her, what? 10 years? It felt like a long time then. And it actually is now 10 years. And um, prior to that, I had a technology background. Um, I'd worked in Australia and the UK and the US help, helping uh, to launch um, internet projects uh, and new products uh, worldwide um, and I was really waiting for that um, uh, I guess that uh, to, to work in an environment where I really cared about and education really was the thing that to me I cared about not only for my daughter but also for all students worldwide uh, for everyone and there was a little bit of me there too saying I wish I had this when I was at school. Really wonderful story. So where do you want to take this next? Where do you go with it? Yeah, so um, we're really committed to working with teachers and educators and the school uh, network and really deepening. Uh, we want more students accessing mindsets and we want to help schools, particularly now in this uh, COVID period and when schools resume, hopefully they will all resume in the fall, um, there will be a, 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 you know, they're calling it the COVID slump. We do want teachers to look at mindsets and say, yeah, this is a fantastic way to, to help my students um, re-engage and to, to level up. Um, and, and for parents too, we, we'd love to be able to support parents um, who in this period of time of school closures have realised that um, they've got a glimpse into what their students and their, their, their children are learning and they want to be engaged, you know, um, and so mindset is beautiful for that because finally here's a here's a uh, a, a tool um, that that teaches math but parents can understand you know um, and so we're really grateful for all the great support we've had and um, we're here to, to to support parents and and particularly educators um, to uh, yeah to help engage and to take learning to to that new level really centered whole child learning. Well, you mentioned all 50 states and uh, 81 countries uh, around the world. Uh, do, you dis do you disclose numbers? Uh, how many students have, have used this? Um, we, we tend not to because um, of the seasonality. And, you know, right now, of course, there's less because schools are out or about to go out. Um, and we sort of like just to try and um, talk about the, the spread through the number of countries um, we actually had a blog article we were going to release in February, which had these, um, which had the, the, you know, it showed the spread of uh, mindsets uh, since 2015. And we actually pulled the article because we thought it sounded too, um, it was inappropriate because it sounded like a virus. And, um, um, but that, we'll be releasing that article um, in the fall, updated. Terrific. Well, the website, once again, is mindsets.com, M-I-N-D-S-E-T-S dot -E com. Marissa DePasquale, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you, Brad. Now this. How many companies out there have continued to innovate when it comes to building a better radio? I'm Fred Fishkin, host of Text to Nation, and I'm here to tell you about the new CC SkyWave SSB radio from the wonderful people at C-Crane. Bob and his crew really love radio, and it shows in this new compact model that is packed with features. Beyond great AM and FM reception and sound, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. Listen to ham radio operators, aviation, and more. It's the radio you'll turn to every day, and in emergencies. 
It will run for nearly three days on just two AA batteries. Pair the sleep timer with the new Soft Speaker 3, and you've got the perfect radio for your nightstand. Of course, it can wake you up too. Click on Crane at Textination.com and put in the code Textination for a free flashlight with your order. They love radio, and you'll love Crane.